Okay, hi. We're going to learn how to make a box and whisker plot using our Casio calculators. Now, we're going to use the same data that I used in the other videos for uh, mean, mean, and mode and standard deviation. So, let's go over to our stat menu. And you can see here, it's all the data that we've inputted before. Now I'm going to calculate some things and I'm going to graph on my bus box and whisker plot. So let's just go to calculate. Let's just check it's set up right. Set. List 1 is our X list. That's good. Our frequency is 1. Good. Okay, one variable statistics. There's the mean that we got before. There's a standard deviation. That's the number of data values we have, but these five numbers here are the five points we're really interested in. This is called our five-point summary. Right, so the minimum is 34. That's the lowest value in our data set. Q1 is the first quartile. That means 25% or a quarter of the data is below this number, below 36. Hey. Uh, half of the data is below 42.5. Half of the data is below 42.5 and that's our median. Three quarters of the data is below Q3, the third quartile, so that's below 45. And our maximum value, that's pretty obvious, that's 58. Okay, that's our five-point summary. Those five numbers are used to make our box and whisker plot. Let's go back to our menu. Exit, exit, and now I want to graph this data. So F1 for graph. I need to set up my graph, set. I want what type of graph do I want? I want a box and whisker. It doesn't say box there, so I go to the next page, box. List 1 is my frequency, as uh, is my X list. My frequency is 1. Outliers, for this case, we'll just put them on. If you have a really big list, it's probably best to put them off. I can explain it to you later. Okay, exit. Now, that was when I set it up, it was graph 1. Exit. So now we go to graph 1. And there's my box and whisker plot. This point here is the minimum. 34. This point is 36, Q1. This is our median, 42.5. This is 45, our Q3. And way up here is our maximum. So you can see half of the data is in the box. The lowest 25% is up here and the biggest 25% is up here. So three quarters of the data is lower than that point, 45. So that shows an interesting spread of data. You can think about that and try and understand what that means.